Welcome back, my friends. It's Rob here again with Spellforce Conquest of EO for the third and final of this series, this previous series. And due to popular demand, I've gone ahead and made some arrangements for this to be 1440p instead of ultra wide, and I will try to do that moving forward. Even though I have this beautiful new ultra wide monitor, I will I will do what's right for you guys. With that being said, let's go ahead and continue our playthrough. And last we cleared this out, we now have this guy harvesting. And we are already kind of running into an issue with resources because, as I mentioned, they are all finite. So we've got five, five, let's see here, eight turns here and eight turns there. So not that many, unfortunately. So we're going to have to do what we can to gather as much resources as we can and then start to build up our army so we can move. But where do we move? That's a great question. I think we try to move? No, that's not gonna be something we can do for sure. I don't know where to go. We'll have to explore southeast here to see if there's anything over here worth taking. All right. Exploring the shrine, we find resistance to physical and elemental. Mucho bueno. All right. And yeah, the, the goal of this episode will be to find a new home for us. A new place that we can continue to harvest the resources we need. And then, of course, you know, create a, the armies that we'll need. So, summon alchemist minions. I would like to do that. I would very much like to do that. And it looks like we have something over here. So, oh, that's awareness. Okay. All right. And then also we have something here. So, true friendship between animal and the people of Fiera is rare, but a proper bond can be enforced, but befriend beast. We will absolutely grab that. That's helpful, for sure. We start having little armies of wolves running around. Alright, let's see if we can... You know, no more turns for that, sir. Oh, look at the... It's the dwarven... The dwarven mage. The group of dwarves you see in a distance carries the banner of one of the mages of the circle, depicting an anvil inside of which a world of forests, mountains, and rivers has been embroidered. It is surrounded by a wreath of fire that seems to move with the banner flying in the wind. Get a closer look. A dwarf dressed in luxurious robes appears before you, accompanied by the clanking of pickaxes and hammers. I see another bright mind striving to outgrow the head it holds. I am Iskrim the smith, and you, young one, have come a little too close for comfort. Now, you know what? We're going to go ahead and say apologies, Master Iskram. Very well. The dwarf nods. The circle is watching. Your actions close. <laughs> let's, let's take a weird break there. <laughs> the circle is watching your actions closely. Someone to stop you. Someone to help you realize your potential. I stay away from their squabbling. Make sure to keep your hands off what is mine. And let me tend to my craft. And I shall do the same. And with that, he leaves. So we're actually good. We're good with him. That's a good idea to keep him in our good graces. Oh, look, cool, Griffin. Just chilling. And they took him out like nothing. Look at you with your freaking giant mountain bear. That looks like a polar bear to me. And then if they've got their mole riders, which I think are cool. And then they've got dwarven workers. You know, I'm surprised that group actually took out the Griffin. No problem. We're just going to go over here and we're going to figure it out with these night walkers. As you enter a village, a few peasants, where are the eye you from makeshift barricades set up around the road? They are armed with bows and farming implements. The woman who visited your tower comes wait, the woman who comes who visited your tower comes bustling towards you. See? She shouts over her shoulder to the other villagers. I told you they would help. They will drive away those night walkers. Have no fear, villagers, we shall rid you of these creatures. Bust of luck to you, brave heroes. The woman cheers while some of the younger villagers excitedly wave their improvised weapons. We will return. Uh. Oh, okay, so I already destroyed them. <laughs> I was about to say, why Why didn't I get the other quest, like, indicator? All right, so relief leave cheer goes some Thank you kindly. That's right, they were over over there. That's right. So as the, hap as the happy villagers crowd around you, some of the young, younger folk approach with farm tools and dented armor. Take us with you. We want to become brave adventurers like you. I could use a few able bodies. Come on. Come on. You know, we'll take you over no nah, i don't know militia or tier one we'll just send you back over here for now and i don't i really don't want to anger 
Ingram here. It looks like that's probably where his his lair is. And I don't wanna I don't wanna mess with him. Iskram, sorry, that's what it is. Look at that. Just floating around now. You go floating around, boy. Alright, cities and shops have new inventory, which means I could probably get a new worker. Infused bark. I was told, actually, that something I don't know, that I didn't know, by one of the commenters, that I don't actually need a catalyst, which is what I thought I did for, for this one. I'll talk about that in a second. You see the banners of the storm, storms, wardens of the West Guard fluttering in the breeze from some way off. It is only when they are a little closer that you see not everyone in the group is a West Guard soldier. As they move north, they are pushing orc prisoners along with them. We should try to free the prisoners. Let's do it. Of course, you have some numbers to fight the West Guard soldiers if you must, but the right spell may also free the prisoners without the storms. If I had mentalism, I would have been able to just take it. But we're going to fight them. And, wow, we could just win this without any losses. And so we will. Get out of here. The orcs get to work freeing themselves from their bonds while you focus your efforts on their guard. When they are free, some of the leaner, more ragged members of the group offer you their service and return from steady pay. Yeah, you're most welcome. Come on in. And now we've got an orc. They're javelin throwers. They're tier 2, so they're actually decent. We're going to need to start looking for tier 3 units, though, soon. Alright, there we go. Let's level them up. And we'll get them poisonous touch for sure. Although, throw sand's decent. Poisonous touch, better. And then, armor or piercing attacks. I'll take piercing attacks. Let's grab this. We've gained a lot of stuff. It's great. What I was telling you is that... Oh, whoops. We don't have anything. Wow, we need to do something about that. So, before I thought we needed a catalyst. I guess we don't need one. Although, we have plenty of them. So they were saying that you don't need a catalyst in order to create stuff. You could just let's see let's let's see this. Let's see if this actually works. Alright, so let's do infused bark and stardust. Oh he's right, okay. We could use the catalyst though. Which will just increase everything. And then we'll need one more. So we could do the stardust again for a storm in a bottle. Provides unleashed storm in a bottle skill. Deals 33 white damage to a 5 random enemy units in a 2 hex radius around a position 5 range. That is a fantastic potion, and we'll take it. Give me that potion now. Alright. We're going to come on over this way. I'm a little nervous. I don't want to piss off his grim. So, I've never actually run into him before. It's the first time I've run into that mage in particular. But some of them... You can maintain decent relations with, but if you piss them off, they're like completely relentless. <laughs> and I'm not about that life. All right, so let's come over here actually with that one. We'll come over here and harvest this. I do want to go back over to Luvian and maybe hire another worker. So let's see if we can, do you have anything that flies? I don't have anything that flies. Does it have a boat, though? Nope. It does swim. Okay. So we will use this one. Alright, let's go over here to the workers. And we'll buy them. And they said that also the militia can get that skill quickly. I didn't know that. Let's look to see. I guess I'll have to do something about that. Evidently, it's a skill they'll grab quickly with them with loving, loving them up. So... Yeah, whoever it is that's giving me those, I don't know the per particular screen name, I'm sorry. I forgot, but that person that's helping me with the comments in the description below, and or the uh, the comments below, I should say. <laughs> the comments below for the last few, few videos, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Clearly, you have had access to the game, maybe even a developer or something, I don't know. Let's go back over here real quick. We'll take a look to see what else we can get. We can now grab some Elven Rangers, which are very good. I think they're tier two. Or not, yep, they're tier two. And then the crossbowmen are probably tier three. If they're not, they're not, they're not that high. Okay. Scouts. I might buy scouts and the elven archers. That was that's what we'll do. We're now negative one from upkeep. We're gonna take you, and we're going to move you over here towards that. And then the scouts. I'm going to oh. I'm going to take the scouts. 
and kind of start heading towards this area so I can see what's down here. We're going to need to find somewhere to go next, so... Yeah. That's kind of what we're going to have to do. Try to come over this way, but again... Oh, there's the... There's their land. There is his zone of control, so we definitely don't want to enter that. That is absolutely a must right now. Alright, there we go. That's That's the plan. We'll keep keep on keeping on here. We'll bring you back over to this group here. This is a better warrior group here. We've got some decent units here in this group. We might be able to start attacking things with it, actually. Even better is if we could find another... Another apprentice. And of course, we could drive that apprentice. Since the apprentice lodge is about to run out of its resources as well, we could drive that somewhere. Uh, gain twenty dollars. That's great. Oh, this might be a good spot. Let's see if we can move over here. Wow, oh, we're about to run out of five gold per turn. Oh no, six. Six gold per turn. All right. Maybe we can come down over here, over to the cliffs over here. Looks like there's some items. We'll bring you over here because I'm going to probably move your lodge that way. Am I able to build two lodges yet? No, not yet. Okay. I think that was zone of control increase. That's what it was. All right. Well, move you over here. Harvest that. Bring you back over. Actually, we'll take you to this group since that's the group I want to be in right now. Actually, I might just leave you here so that I can continue to make contact with the Livian here as I need to. All right. No, don't attack my warrior or my worker. Depleted, depleted. We can befriend Beast, which is great. So we might just do that right now in order to, to befriend one of those those bees that are about to attack me. All right, summon animal pack. We'll do that. We've got two workers. We need to establish contact with two major cities and then employ two apprentices. Let's also look to see how our tower is doing. We could build a workshop for three gold per day. It's going to cost 45 gold, but we'll do that in hopes of maybe getting a couple of that. Maybe getting a positive income balance from that alone. That would work. It could work. Who knows? We'll do our best. All right. Man, it doesn't look very good from this side. Man, that is not a good... Maybe I should have gone this way with these people. Decisive defeat. Alright, that's probably not where we want to go. Because they got the snow leopards. Abort. We'll bring our better army there. A couple of young boys run past, excitedly take, talking. I'm telling you, it's amazing. I saw a huge wolf and a little man able to balance, like, at least ten horses on his arms. It was amazing. I hope we go again when it's back in town. Is there a circus nearby? Sure sounds like it. All right. We'll come over here with our better army. And we're gonna have to sell some stuff here. We'll sell these. We'll also sell these. And this. Maybe we sell as much as we can to build a second. But still, that's not going to be enough. That's the problem. Plus, I don't want to run out of, out of money immediately. Oh, man. 
We definitely need to do something about my, my income flow here. All right, so there's money there. So let's move, let's move this. Instead of befriending beasts, let's go ahead and move my spell tower, my mage's tower, and we're gonna move it over here. Because we got five gold there. And I might be able to move it there so that I can take that too, we'll see. See if I have the range for it. We'll bring you over here. Oh good, thank you for not attacking my workers. All right, a new day dawns, bringing forth fresh challenges and dangers throughout the world. A circle resents your growing power. Even you. Did I, I gained a level I must have. Tower, Master Mage, next level at 25. Yeah, I did gain a level. Pretty sure, right? No. No, I did not, I lied. Summit 16. All right, cool. So, awaiting orders. Let's go to here. Decisive defeat still. I wanna, I wanna, mm, I wanna fight this. If I need to use the elemental in a bottle, that's fine. It might be the difference between me winning and losing this battle. All right, so go ahead and drop it. Go ahead and unseal this elemental. There we go. All right, and then you come into the spot here. You here. And we'll move you right here. Alright, that's not going to be enough. I don't like it. Yeah, they're more powerful than I thought they were. Let's see how we do there. Alright, we got the worst of that exchange, actually. <laughs> and this polar bear is very powerful. So, let's see what we can do here. Does anybody have any action points left? You do. What do we have here? Sacred water. Damage each allied area. So this is only good against undead or fantastic units. Let's use Berserk Shrooms. Oh, whoops. Wrong one. All right, let's see how this goes. I'm not particularly... Oh, oh wow, they did something. That I didn't like at all. Holy crap. I didn't realize they did that. Wow, and I got disordered from that. Not yes. good. Oh man, I could take them out, but I'll take myself out. Hmm. See what we can do here. We'll heal as much as we can. We going? We will. Yes. Eh? We going? We're going to attack with these guys. Awesome. All right, that worked out better than I thought it would. So we'll move you here, so that we can attack this group here. I'm hoping the polar bear comes after these guys, because I don't really care. I mean, I, I think they're probably actually coming out after these. All right, let's see what we can do here. Oh, man. I don't have bleeding, so... I don't really want to attack. I might. Oof, let's see how well we do. Let's just hope. Oh, we did get the better of that, that exchange. That's good. Alright, let's see how this goes. I knew they were going to come after that. Man. I knew it. Ah. 
All right, well, we can yes. still win this. Though at what cost? I don't know. Definitely at great cost, for sure. Oh, man. We going? I mean, these units are, are good. They've been with me for a long time. I really want to move away from this so that I can attack it. Yes. I don't think it's going to happen. Yes. See, I'm going to die. But I'm going to inflict 45 to 66 damage. Let's see if we can go over here. I know this is not going to work out for me as, well, as I want it to. Ah, I knew it. All right, they're burning, which helps. Let's do this, let's do this. Oh man. All right, so actually I've taken away all of the, the polar bear or the bear's action points so he won't be able to do anything next turn, which is actually really good for me. And he's still burning. I actually, I can't believe that worked out for me. <laughs> I only lost one unit to a, a superior warrior, a superior force there. That was a little bit of luck. A little bit of strategy, a little bit of tactical mindfulness, but definitely luck too. So I lost a decent at level six. That's hard. That's really rough. That did not go as well as I'd hoped. Well, I guess it went better than it could have, but still not as, like, I just was hoping to go into that and, like, crush them. Let's see, what do we want to do here? We'll do focus. All right, let's bring the elven archers over. Actually, maybe not. Maybe we bring the javelin throwers. Let's see, we've got... Unit power 70. 66. We'll move the javelineers over. And I think what we might need to do is bring these. Well, no, you know, we'll just let them explore a little bit. Hopefully without angering. Oh, he's got quite a bit of land here. Good for him. He must have a second apprentice. Which I would really like to find. That'd be great. You know, let's see if I forget where my quests are. I don't think actually that's somewhere. Yeah, I don't think that's something that I can. I need to do this in order to get to the point where I can do the second apprentice. So I need to go find another town, and I'm pretty sure it's up here. So I'm actually going the wrong way. Maybe we take, we'll take, oh, you know what? We'll go over this way. Because if we come through here, hopefully unscathed, we'll be able to get to the other side and there is a town on the other side. It's pretty risky. But I'm going to try it. And I don't think I'm going to go through here at all. Bad idea. All right, we'll sleep here. No, we'll just wait for a turn. That's a good spot. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to take these spots here and set the Apprentice Lodge here and then move my city over here. Which means I'm going to go the way. Go away. Run away. All right, so with you, let's come back up here. We'll see what we... Maybe we can get another quest from them. Oh, man. That sucks. Retreat. Alright, so plant sap and elven heal root. Alright, the process of rebuilding your master tower is now underway and your attention turns to its grimoire. 
Looks like pages that were hastily torn from the tome, though whether or by your master or someone else is unclear. Let's take a closer look. Squinting at the tiny script, we realize it's forms instructions. We'll investigate these places. The lost spell page. Alright. So that is something we want to do. But in the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to move my mage's tower to here. Unless wishing well will get me something? I don't think so. Maybe if I moved it over here. I don't think I'm going to be able to grab that. So having it here is probably the best bet. All right. Not attacking them. That's a bad idea. You have finished this, so let's move you on to the next harvestable thing, which is not here because I won't be able to grab that. We can grab this, though. Level you up. Give you some regeneration in case you need it. All right, we'll move you over here. Let's see what they have here. Ooh, what the hell are those? Purity Goliath. There are way too many of them. Oh my god. 79 power. 95 power. That's not happening. So we'll come down over here. Clear this out. Let's see what there. Oh, there's nothing there. Good. All right. Poison coating. So that means I should probably build the lodge right here. Like right here. I'm hoping that's not too close that Iskrim gets pa mad at me. All right. Growing troubles. Let's see what we got here. Large local Alenia farms have been depleted overnight. The people of Alluvian turn to you for help, promising valuable ingredients for your craft in return. I'll see what I can do. And we will. We will see what we can do. Let's try to get away from all these dang... Skeletons. Alright. Yeah, let's bring you back. Let's actually pair you up with the worker here so we can keep one of them safe for sure. And we'll pair you up with the other one so we can keep him short, uh, safe. Oh, you don't want to attack that group? Oh, what the heck? I didn't think that stack would attack me. Oh, man, I'm dead. That sucks. It was a gamble. It did not work out well for me. Can't say that surprises me. All right, so... What's going on now? All right. A woman of regal bearing, clad in full plate armor, purchased your tower. Oh, this is great. This was someone I needed, actually. I forgot she comes. Greetings, mage. I am Leiter Storm. I am... Come to warn you that the new purity have plans to move against you. The purity? Weren't they destroyed by the Tahar? So, yeah. This seems very well... Yep. yep. Why, why are you so well informed? What do they want with me? And how do we stop them? Alright, so... Let me prove my worth to you. Be my guest, please. Be my guest. Be my guest. All right, so now there's going to be some quests that evolve from her being here. But really what's more important right now is we get this tower over here. And we plop it down. Thank you. And we'll give her that group too. Is the wishing will actually not... Yeah, I guess not. We have to take control of it. We're now negative four, which is not great, of course. But it might change here in a second. We will do this right here. I think we'll be all right after that. Waiting orders. Come over here. 
Do your thing, my friend. All right, let's mine over here as well. Let's look to see what we can build tier two. So we know Storm in the Bottle is now six arcane and three fire, or three elemental, sorry. I always, I always want to say fire. What can we do now? So mind numbing elixir, what does that do? It's just as a, not affected by any changes to willpower. Immune to psychology. Well, let's throw that in there. Berserk shrooms by two. Then we could do a ritual dagger for another two. And then we can, oh, look at that. Elven heal root can be, just, just provides a crap ton of, of life. Ingredient sap. So death poison coating. Can we get to the next one? I don't think we have enough. We don't. Oh, we do actually. Let's see what it could be. Plague Vessel. Throw Plague Vessel skill in battle. Deal 21 death damage to each enemy unit within one radius around a position in five range. But we get rid of the Greater Glyph. Which I don't want to do. So I'm going to do Poison Coating. And we'll close that for now. And what we'll do is actually give her this glyph. So she can be a fire wielder. I don't have any artifacts at all. Something I definitely will need to get to. And we'll leave that group for now. I need to get money before I can recruit more people. So let's see what that does for me. That's going to be five. So I'll be at a positive one balance. Should help me for a little bit. We'll lose some mana and some knowledge. But that's okay. So I'm an animal pact? Or pack? It's a pact. You summon an alliance of animals. All right, so... I'm kidding. That's not the way. That's not what happens. <laughs> it's just a pack. All right. With the militia here, I'm not worried about them. They're probably going to come over here and try to take out this hut, which is fine. The lodge, whatever it's called. Yeah, I figured. All right. Workshop constructed. That's even better. Perfect timing. Even from afar, you can clearly make out the new purity's white banners. They are marching in a village. Lytra's hands instinctively reach for a weapon as she stands in her saddle to get a better view. The purity will not prevail. So we need to go over here. And we will. We just need to finish building. What? Why did you stop building your lodge? No way. That sucks. I didn't know that. I don't think I've ever had that happen. That sucks. Build process of lodge on Renaka's was interrupted. That sucks. I really don't want to go all the way back over there to get them to stop. What is it? A group of militia, right? I might be able to... Oh, no. Not with... Hmm. Well, maybe it's time to use one of my new spells. We'll do that. Let's see if we can... Find some animals to bring to our cause here. All right, lodge being pillage. I know. I don't really care. I actually kind of don't. I just want you to do it. Just take it. Just take it, so I can move on. Wow! Look at that. Oh, did they? Did they hurt them a little bit? At least they did. Oh, there we go. Let's move you first. And then now we've got three wolves that we can rush over here to hopefully kill them with. We'll also try to do it in our spell. And like a spell that's going to help me maybe make them less capable, right? Mm. 
I don't think I have anything like that. Fatigue, maybe fatigue all more units and stack until the end of their next battle. Negative two speed. Yeah, that might work actually. So we'll do that. All right, good. So, excellent. All right. No, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely want to do that. We want to have something researching. Summon jelly. Let's we'll summon jellies. All right. Is it going to let me push through that? I know that that's that, but okay, there we go. All right, we're going to have them stay still, though. We're going to have them actually come over here, and they'll wait. All right. Some Lenya, some Blossom, and then, of course, Experience. And they finish theirs, too. That's some Mountain Copper, some Heat Stone, and more experience as well. All right, great. So, with that, can we get them over here? We can. They're going to be able to attack. Let's see. I think we'll be able to take them. I really do. Decisive victory. You might lose some units. We're just going to let that happen. Because then we can move back over here and start this lodge. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog in the background. She's getting a bath. She does not like baths. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. We'll do this. Oh, I don't know. We can probably move it over here. No. Let's do... Let's do it right there. Alright, so that worked out to my advantage. And we've got some wolf level ups too. Unit is immune to poison or damage reduction against missile attacks. Let's take that. And we'll do armor. And there's other level ups. Let's do this here. We'll take research per day because I love it. And we will then move you over here towards the pumpkins. And you, let's see, where can we work? Where do we want you to work? Wow, we're going to have to come all the way up here just to get you to work. But we will. All right, I'm going to play a couple more turns, and that's going to be it for this preview series. Hopefully, I've given you enough taste here for you to figure out if this is a game that's going to be for you. I, you know, it's funny. I've played for about 30 hours now. I haven't actually beat it yet because I keep restarting and because I was part of, like, the beta process and whatnot. And... I'm just super eager to dive in and like finally give it its full go because everything I've seen in this game makes me want to play more of it. So it's one of those games where I wanted it to be like a version 1.0 before I let I let it take me in fully completely. So I'm I'm really excited to do that. But with that, let's go ahead and finish these last couple of turns. And I'm gonna take this this game all the way. So I'm hoping I can take it all the way. I don't know if I've set myself up for failure in some way here. But we'll go ahead and wait this one here. Good. I'm glad that it moved away from there because I was I'm taking in gold there from that bridge. And now I'm taking in more gold. More. Good. I'm positive right in time because I was about to, to go negative. <laughs> so, all right. What do we have here? We have six. The bridge actually is forever. That's good. Six turns here. 12 and 12. Very good. All right. So let's take this group here now that I've got it set up. And let's try to get over here as fast as possible. I want to actually, let's go to Growing Troubles first and then we'll go to Lightra's Quest. All right. So we can summon jellies now, which means if we need to on the fly, we can kind of do something to help myself out here. Kennels, breeding beasts for battle, needs to kill skill and talent and a place to keep them. So we can now do kennels as a tower room. Well, we will be able to. And we can now, too, look to... Let's befriend beast. And we'll befriend those bears if they come back around. Because the bears are strong. Actually, we could find the bears. There we go. 
Oh no, maybe maybe I shouldn't have moved there. Axe wielders and the mountain bear. The tier two. I wish I could take that turn back. I really do. I really wish I could, but I can't. It's too late. Maybe I can go over here and try to weaken them at least. We're going to. We're going to. It's like a sacrificial battle here. We're going to try to take out those dwarves as best we can. We're going to try to flank them. That's what we're going to do. We're going to use our maneuverability here to try to flank them. That's fine. We're going to come around and try to attack them. You can attack us with opportunity. We're just trying to weaken them. That's all we're trying to do. But I want to do as much weakening as I can. Oh, this isn't going to go well for me. No! Dead wolves. Dead wolves everywhere. Anything I can do before I'm dead? No, not worth, not worth losing all that good stuff for. So... We did what we wanted to, plus I wanted to lose some of those. Actually, I think the the wolves there in that case were only taking mana. They weren't taking gold. Pretty sure that was the case, actually. It was spell upkeep. But let's end turn here and let's see if we can... Oh, what the heck? That's not cool. Oh, please, let me have it. Thank you. Should turn around and attack them with their own, their own bear. <laughs> but I don't know why they actually took this. That's not cool at all. And I definitely don't want to attack them because that's going to piss them off. But that's not really part of the deal, man. All right. I am going to attack them actually with their own bear. Okay, they're just moving on. All right, good. Because they said they were going to leave me alone as long as I left them alone. I better stay true. Actually, yeah, we're going to come over here. You arrive at a small farm by an old shrine. You can feel the magical flow that must have been the millennia drive thrive. And indeed, there are a few elves praying inside. So let's ask the farmer what happened. We can... So they took the Lenya to heal their sick, but it was a lush field. I don't know. Inspect the field, look out for anything. Presumably the field, there are footprints everywhere. Presumably they belong to the farmers. But half buried in the soil, you'll also see something shimmer. You pick it up and uncover a glass bottle, empty and uncorked. After a few tournaments, your scouts find more footprints leading away from the scene. Follow the tracks from the fields. This was an alchemist. Oh, cool. So I can tell just by my alchemy. So we'll come over here and you go attack this group here. Oh, I can't. Seriously? I really wanted to attack them with their own... Oh, come, stop doing that, man. All right. They're going to keep running away from me and I'm not going to keep chasing them. My dog is literally having a conniption fit from taking a bath. Oh, man. It's like my children. All right. You happen upon a camp whose occupants are quietly chatting while cooking an animal on a makeshift spit. Greetings. May we sit with you for a while? As if the undead chasing us through the high mark wasn't bad enough. The locals distrust us, too. No matter. No tavern will open its door to us. I'm trying to go through this because I really honestly want you guys to do most of this. I don't want you to... Like, if you want to, you can stop that and read it. But I... You know, a lot of that stuff is really fun to read for its... You know, on its own for the first time. So we'll come up here with this. Are we negative one because of this? We are. We are definitely negative one from this. I wish it would tell me what the upkeep was. Mind controlled. Requires no upkeep cost. Okay. I thought... So what, what spell is that I'm upkeeping that's so bad? So I guess I don't know. I'll never know. A woman, long blonde hair and fair face concealed behind a sheer veil comes running your way. Her dress is white and flows around her figure, a wedding dress fit for an elf of beauty. Here, for you. Goodbye. She pushes the package on your hands and dashes off of that with almost inhuman speed. 
Well, look in the package. You're holding a bag of gold and silver trinkets. Hey, my wedding gifts. Thief. Are you in cahoots with that victim? He rips the package from me. Those are mine. Guards. So, wait a moment. We don't know her. Or we want the money. Ah, you know what? I'll take the money. I want the money. I really do. Close defeat. No way. Scouts? No, we're going to take these guys. There's no way this is going to be a close defeat. We will use some of our items, too. So, storm in a bottle. 33 white damage. I just want to show it to you. Why not? We'll throw it right there. There we go. We did it. We threw the bottle. Poison coating applies poison coating in a skill. In a battle, let's not use. I don't want to use that just yet. It didn't even hit that one, even though it was supposed to. That sucks. Let's move you up here and attack. Yes. Move you right here and also attack. Then we'll move you up here and attack. And... Let's try attacking this one as well. They're a little harder hitting than they should be. Let's do javelin throwers from here. No, too far. Oh, come on. That should have killed them. I think it will next turn. Yep. Okay, cool. Wow, they're taking out my mage. Ow. That hurt. Let's flank these guys. Yes. And then move over here. Hit them. Oh no, that wasn't good enough. I thought I had one more unit to move. But it doesn't matter. We got him. I didn't think I was going to lose that battle. I think there's one thing about the... Like, the predictions, the battle predictions, that's... Well, not the one thing. But it's definitely off, right? They're definitely off. So, white damage. Very good. Alright, so... No, no, no. I, please, I was just... He raises his shaking hands, dropping the package. Please let me go. You can keep that. And we gain 20 gold. Which is what I wanted to do. Alright, you know what? This is time to end this episode. I have really enjoyed myself. I've really enjoyed showing this off to you guys. I think that if you are in it for a fantasy 4X that has like very strong RPG elements, I think you'll be really impressed and really happy with this game. I have been really enjoying it. I'm really excited to keep diving in. I've gotten a little bit farther than the, the where I'm at right now in a couple games, but I haven't gotten much further. So I am really excited to see what goes beyond this this point of the game. I feel like this is like kind of like still early game getting towards the mid game. I mean, I'm, I'm a couple hours in, right? I think I still have quite a bit to go. I know that each campaign takes about 20 hours from what I've read and from what I've been told from some of the other testers. I mean, like 10 to 20 hours, somewhere in that time frame. And of course, there's multiple different mage types and different starting areas and a lot of other variables. I would like to see more quests and more variations or like more variables, I should say, as the game progresses, as it gets DLC and stuff. But I think this is such a fantastic spin on the 4X formula that I just I can't help but recommend it. I'm not supposed to say anything about like I'm not even supposed to say I recommend it, but I'm going to. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what rules I'm following anymore. But I think that anyone who's watching this, who's had any interest in this, is probably already going to get it. And I don't think anyone's going to be mad at me for telling you to get it. I'm really enjoying myself. And I think this, I think what Owned by Gravity has done here is really fantastic and it really has taken what i think is the sorcerer king formula basically like this very asymmetric approach to a 4x game and tactical combat and has made it really what the game what what, what sorcerer king should have been you know and a step further for like the thea formula 
you know, these these kind of games that were trying new things but hadn't really got to that like level yet. I think this is where we're at. And I see so much room for for additional content, for additional mechanics even to make this game even more fun, even more deep. That I'm just really looking forward to, to Spell Forces or Conquest of Eos, I should say. I don't know this is the Spell Force universe, but the Conquest of EO, like it, it's future. I'm looking forward to this like particular brand's future. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the series. This was Rob from Explominates. Until next time, keep exploring.